Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be going over Leak Code 111, minimum depth of a binary tree. Now, yes, I know this can be solved using recursion, but there's a cool way to do it with BFS that I personally would answer with. Pretty much, we know that BFS works in terms of layers. So if this is the origin, the first layer is gonna be this, the second layer would be this. So the way I'm gonna solve it is keep a int that I increment every time we encounter a new layer. And once we encounter a node, which does not have a left or right child, then we return the count of layers, or D, depth, whatever. Okay, so BFS is gonna use a Q. Let's have tree nodes. Q equals new linked list. Once that's done, <clears throat> if root dot left is null so pretty much yeah, well if root is null return zero but if the left is null and roots right is null return one else add it to the queue and um, let's have a int d for depth and we'll increment d while q now this is a standard bfs we all know q isn't empty all right mm, this is just keep this in mind so size is going to be q dot size and d plus plus so this is a layer for int i is equal to zero, i is less than size, i plus plus, tree node t for temp is q dot pull. Now, now that we pulled it, we pulled three. What we do is check if the the node that we just pulled if it's left and right is null if it is we return d but in this case it's not so if left is null and t dot right is null we return d if t dot left is not null we add it to the queue. If t dot right is not null, we add it to the queue. Now, let's see what's happening. So three gets popped out. It's not null, right? And then it adds nine and 20. Now three, now nine. So initially the queue is like this. We got three in there, three is popped out, adds nine and 20 in there. And then nine gets popped out. Nines left and right is null. So we return D. Let's see how many times we incremented D twice. One once, once when we popped out three and once when we popped out nine. And because we're done, um, it's going to return D. If everything, if it doesn't work I th think just return negative one I can't remember but I, I remember this is the logic that I used to find the depth and that's one way you can solve leak code 111